Hello, Jesse here with GPS City. I have the Garmin VHF100 Marine Radio. I'm going to give you a quick tour around the unit and also show you what comes in the box. In the box, we're going to have a cover to cover the unit itself. Of course, we have the head. On the head itself, we've got a bunch of different dials. We have our volume and our squelch and this to select channels. We also have these unlabeled buttons here. They basically activate any menu or function that's listed at the bottom here. Then we have a bunch more labeled buttons. We also have a distress key over here. It is covered so you don't accidentally hit it. To access that button you just lift this uh, flap up and then there's a red button underneath. Press that button and this will send your latitude and longitude if this is hooked up to a GPS to the Coast Guard. So be sure to register your boat with the Coast Guard so they know how to dispatch to your emergency. And of course we've got the handheld mic with push to talk and some menu select buttons. To install this device Garmin gives you this grommet here that's going to go in between your boat and the unit itself. You could use this as a template. You just cut out the center here and then the back of the radio is just going to slide through it. And then you could do all your wiring. Once it's mounted, you could use these plates here to cover up the screws that you use to mount. It makes everything look professional and well installed. If flush mounting the radio is not what you want to do, Garmin also includes this mount here which can be screwed down to a flat surface, or most likely a horizontal surface like so. And then the unit itself is going to just clip in using these knobs. So the unit will sit on that gimbal like this and will be able to tilt. Of course the flush mount is the cleaner way to install this radio. So we've got that hardware there to install on the gimbal. On the back of the radio, uh, I'll show you before we look at the power connector, we have the VHF antenna connection and we also have the external speaker wire, NMEA cable and your power cable. Garmin includes a mating power cable that you could wire to your battery. This is it right here. It's got this big yellow fuse holder. Uh, inside this fuse holder you're going to find a 10 amp fuse. Be sure to bring a bunch of extra 10 amp fuses with you. It's just a 10 amp glass fuse. You don't want to use any smaller uh, because it'll probably blow often and you don't want to use larger because you could fry your unit. And the most important thing in the box is the manual. Be sure to read this a couple times before installing and using your VHF 100 radio from Garmin. To learn more about marine accessories for Garmin GPS or to purchase them, just visit GPS City, your GPS experts.